One day, I'm just little Lodaria, and I'm chilling in VR. I slap on my meta quest, turn on my trackers, and I hopped into this game named Terrors of Nowhere, which is a pretty fun mini game in VR chat. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Soon as I load in, I load some long ass string of text into the board and walk inside. From across the lobby, I saw someone wearing a giant Gura model. That caught me off guard, so I walk over to try to strike up a conversation. We hit it off talking about our favorite VTubers until we landed on the topic of parasocialism. Yeah, yeah, I know, before y'all say it, pretty taboo stuff. This is the part that stuck with me because they out and told me, apart from one named Kenji, they don't watch any male VTubers at all. I thought nothing of it until I asked why, and her answer was, because most of them only make lewd content. At first, I thought this was just flat out projection, but this was around the time Tiger over here got ousted as being a not goofy gamer. So I decided to hear it out. So I added her on Discord and low key, I started probing. Why do you feel this way? Do you only watch corporate ones? What made Kenji different? Before that conversation, it never occurred to me why this happens so often with male VTubers. It's not as if it doesn't happen in the third dimension, but even when it does, it's still a rare sight. After that conversation, I sent myself on a whole ass side quest to figure out why the VTubing scene seems to attract so many of these kinds of people. I boiled it down into a few reasons why that might be. VTubers are by design meant to mirror things in anime, so plenty of the tropes you will find in anime will appear in the scene. Manheras, lollies, main characters with wild hair. The list goes on. The dominating audience of most anime is men, so most of the underlying concepts you find in anime will be reflected in the VTuber scene. It's not uncommon to see isekai lore for quite a few VTubers when it's one of the most popular genres. On its own, this isn't a problem. To me, it's meant to be a hee hee haha funny sort of thing. It's popular because it's what people vibe with. At the end of the day, all VTubers are people playing a character. It's when you got the fringe people in the community that start breaking that barrier. The ones that actually believe that they are the main character. This is the first ingredient, main character syndrome. I'm still relatively new to this VTuber thing, but it's something I have observed fairly quickly. Content creation is high school too. Everyone really is fighting to be the most popular kid in the class. You've got drama, clicks and in circles, hate groups forming around a single person. This does especially happen when people catch the algorithm. More follower equal more gooder person, and people get jealous. This matters a lot more when people in the community start using clout as leverage when flirting. They seem to think that having a higher sub count equal more hotter, and it's like no. It's the same with cash. You just become more tolerable. But the market demand for VTubers doesn't do much to help either. BFE GFE populates the top brass of the medium. Male VTubers are not as in demand, but a market still exists for lewdness. Some of the more successful ones play into one of two archetypes. You've got the Iwu E-Boy or the ASMR Daddy. Who's my good little kitten? This is the second ingredient, the sexualization of the medium. People like fan service in there, male or female. I don't have an issue with this. I call this artist understanding the audience. Monkey brain activated by pretty. It's not really surprising when you've got a place where leaning into a sexual nature is rewarded that people begin to start acting as if it's tender. It becomes a problem when people start blurring that line of you're playing a character with actual romance. Then you've got lewd tubers and... Ugh, I'm, I'm getting a headache. You got some dudes out there that really do adopt that persona of I'm in an anime and letting that get into their head. They start getting pushy thinking any interaction is a romance if you select the right dialogue option because they forget the person they're interacting with is a fan or a coworker. And that's the final ingredient, the parasocialism behind it. Y'all forget, parasocialism is not just a fan thing. This very much affects creators just as much as it does fans. Just like you look at us like cartoons on a screen, we look at you like a bunch of numbers with screen names. Because of the separation between what's real and just an act, lines get blurred from what's okay and what isn't. Adding the funny cartoon into the mix only further adds another layer of separation. And it's all three of these coming together that make it so rampant. The medium itself reinforces three key principles. One, you are the center of attention. That's not necessarily specific to VTubers, but I feel like it gets signal boosted because it is high school too. Two, desensitization of sexual topics because it's everywhere and again, far less empathy for funny cartoon on screen. And three, the blurring of the line between the creator and viewer even more than as a fleshy. Like you look at this guy who had assaulted, allegedly, assaulted another VTuber at a convention. They made passes they weren't comfortable with, they tell him to stop, he don't. Only to find out he was farming multiple women the same way. The first thing that comes out is our hero was forming a harem. 
There are like three others I can place here, but I won't, only because I don't know all of the details. I chose this one because he blew up all of his socials and immediately tried to sell off his assets. No consequences if more comes out. But it still leaves the question, why someone would want to? Is it because they don't have many support groups as a meat strider? Does turning on VTube Studio make you feel like Batman? Is it because having something akin to a harem makes them feel validated? It's a terrible thing to see when there are so few men in the scene to begin with. So when you've got people doing this at such a high rate, everyone gets painted with such a wide brush. Like off the top of your head, name or comment three non-corporate male VTubers. You can't use Kenji, False, Kyo, Nux, Rev, Shiksto, or Sayu.